Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a love reading for my dearest Geminis. Gems, if this reading resonates with you, I'm just going to ask that you like, share, and subscribe. Also, take a moment to check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading. Um, if you like the cards that I'm using, I also have them listed and linked in order of appearance. Also, feel free to leave a comment and don't forget to ring that notification bell. All right. Um, also, Gemini, you can follow me on TikTok and Instagram if you want to meet me over there. I have those links in the description box down below as well. So let's go ahead and see what's happening in the love lives for my dear Geminis. So we've got the Queen of Cups in reverse. So Gemini, some of you um, could be dealing with a water sign or maybe you have water in your chart. The Queen of Cups in Reverse tells me that you might be feeling a little bit emotionally imbalanced. Um, that may be because of a Scorpio in your life or you're dealing with a Scorpio or because there's been some sort of painful ending. Um, the Queen of Cups in Reverse can be jealousy. It can be drama. It can be a lot of tears. Um, the Queen of Cups is somebody who's been through a really tough time in love. Um, and so you may also have your heart chakra a little bit closed at this point in time. Uh, you're being blocked, or what's blocking you, the Nine of Cups. The reason this reading is going down, the Six of Wands. We have the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, some of my gems, you guys are going through a divorce or separation. You could have lost some money as well. Eight of Pentacles coming in from above. And we've got the Ace of Cups, but there's your silver lining, Gemini. Overall energy, beautiful. I'm so happy this card is coming out for you. The Five of Cups in reverse is telling me that any sort of sadness, grief, sorrow, this sense of loss is coming to an end, that you're healing, that you're no longer focused on the negative, um, and that whatever, whatever this ending separation or loss was, whatever has turned you upside down emotionally, you guys are healing from that. Um, with the death card, you know, influencing this situation, remember that death is also simultaneous rebirth and transformation. So some of you guys, you're really doing that shadow work. What's blocking you? We have the nine of cups here. This is an energy of wish fulfillment. So I do feel that it's related to whatever this 10 of pentacles is for some of you guys. It was a marriage or a higher level of commitment or somebody that you really saw going the distance with. Um, that could be coming to an end What with the Nine of Cups here. I'm seeing that it's possible that somebody had a lot of different options, but more than anything, the Nine of Cups is about sex, it's about drinking, it's about having a great time, um, it's partying. And so that could be something that came in between you guys, but it can also be an energy of this, there, the foundation wasn't strong. Okay, and with the Six of Wands, Spirit's telling you that there may have been some ego issues between ego clashes between you and this person. You could have been dealing with a fire sign. Um, it could really be anybody though, um, but somebody that liked to get a lot of attention. And I see that that may have been a problem here. Um, you may have felt like you were always vying for this person's time, their energy, their love, whatever it might be. Um, and some of you guys, you know, what I'm seeing here, spirit saying, after putting in this work, doing the healing and the shadow work that you need, you're going to have a victory because we have in your outcome energy, this ace of cups, emotional fulfillment and a new beginning. Some of you guys, this is coming from somebody that you work with or you go to school with, or you see at the gym, the eight of pentacles is about positive movement forward. So you, those of my gems out there who are healing from whatever this loss of commitment or, you know, some of you guys, you may have also lost out financially. There's a brand new beginning coming for you. It's going to take some work, but I feel like you guys, you're already there. Okay, that you guys have done the healing work or you're in the process with the five of cups in reverse. It tells me that everything's getting so much better and there may be a new relationship on the horizon for you. I love this. Beautiful energy for my gems. So we get, yep, there's that six of wands coming out in reverse. So there was a lot of conflict here. There wasn't growth. There wasn't forward movement. And I feel like many of you guys, you really did see a future with this past person. Okay. And let's go ahead and see. Yep. Some of you guys, you were feeling trapped, helpless, and hopeless. Guess what? 
it's coming to an end. This is an energy of overthinking. It's also about being stuck in some sort of karmic cycle. The shadow work right now or the queen of cups, you're feeling emotionally exhausted and drained. Um, you're doing that shadow work. You might feel like you don't have a whole lot to give right now, but in sort of leaning into that and in doing the healing work, you're calling in this new beginning. Yeah, I'm seeing that you're with somebody that it was either imbalanced. You might have waited a long time for this person, whether it was for a proposal, for, you know, getting on the same page, for some sort of commitment. This this past person that you were dealing with, Gemini, they weren't putting in the work. It could also be, I'm getting there's something having to do with like family, another commitment, uh, some sort of conflict here with like work situation that may have come in between you guys. And yeah, there was too much waiting, too many delays and frustrations with this past energy. I feel like the foundation wasn't quite quite strong enough. You might have been dealing with somebody who was like a self-proclaimed bachelor or bachelorette or somebody that just didn't want to give up the single life. But we see the Four of Pentacles. Many of you guys, you are opening up to a new possibility. Um, you guys are doing the shadow work. You guys are healing. You're resting. You're rejuvenating. You're focusing on yourself. That's calling in some sort of stability. And I also see your finances um, recovering or doing really well here as well, Gemini, if you've been experiencing difficulties when it comes to health or your finances. Um, a lot of my Geminis here, this is about, yeah, this is you needing to release something that you've been holding on to for way too long. Spirit says, let it go, Gems. There's something beautiful. There's something new, something fulfilling on its way in. So yeah, guess what's coming? Love. But I also feel, Gemini, that you really did truly love this past person. Um, and I think that they did at some point really love you as well. Um, that you may have been dealing with somebody who wasn't very, you know, wasn't very open and honest and transparent about what they wanted out of the relationship. Like I said, you might have been dealing with somebody who was a bit of a player or, you know, just wasn't quite ready to leave the single life behind. I think you took a risk with this person. Okay, but I do feel that you you were dealing with somebody that may have had other options. Um, they might have also sort of not fully honored your commitment while they were out drinking. Um, this person, they're definitely keeping an eye on you, okay? But I also feel, Gemini, that you... I feel like I feel like this person like they I feel like this person instead of dealing with problems or listening to like what it is that you wanted and what you needed, you know, they would just sort of tune out or they'd be like uh they instead of like if you guys got into an argument, I'm getting somebody that would either like hang up or somebody who just won't talk to you for a couple of days, something along those lines. But this person Gemini, they're definitely watching you. All right, and they're watching you move on because what you have coming to you, clarity, truth, power, protection, this new beginning is with somebody who's 100% gonna have your back, Gemini. You are going through this metamorphosis, okay? We see that with the transformation card of death. You are, you know, you're healing, you're growing, you're going through a major, major change. Now, for some of you guys, not for all of you, this is a new beginning with this past person, okay? Because we do see that the relationship is evolving. So if you thought this was never, ever going to go anywhere, um, but for a majority of my Geminis that are resonating with this reading, I do feel that you're leaving that past person behind, okay? Um, somebody here is definitely holding back, okay? It feels like it's your person, Gemini. You might be holding back to sort of make a decision to see where things are going to go because I feel like you're ready for the next phase. You're ready for commitment. You're ready for solidarity. You're ready to be with somebody who's got your back. And if this person doesn't, I see you cutting them loose and moving on. So we see life partner. Yes, Gemini, this is what you saw in this person. This is maybe even what they led you to believe that you had. Um, stable and ready to go to the go the distance. This is what you want. This is what you're calling in. We see freedom. So healthy space and room to breathe. So a lot of you guys, you are freeing yourselves from a connection. You're doing the healing work because it wasn't fulfilling for you. Again, releasing something. And you are worthy. Your worth doesn't depend on the other person. Absolutely. And a majority of my Geminis who are 
really genuinely resonating with this reading, you are leaving behind this past person. You're freeing yourself from this, you know, from this chaos, from this conflict, from this drama, from all the wondering when they're going to get back to you, if they're going to open up to you. And a lot of them, they were, you know, they may have been dealing with other people. And some of you, you were married to this person. What I'm seeing here is that, you know, there's a gift coming in from the universe and it's this ace of cups. It's a blessing. It's a new beginning, but you do have to let go of the past first. Um, you know, and we have love language and gift giving. So that's what I'm feeling here. I just feel like this new relationship, this ace of cups for a small few of my gems out there, it's this person, this relationship evolving and transforming after an ending. But I feel like the majority of you guys, this new person is your gift because you've done the work because you've leveled up. All right. I'm going to leave it there. I'm sending you guys lots of love and light. Take care.